What's up ghosties? Welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about something very unique, something a little different. I don't see many videos on this topic, but we're going to talk about phantom phone calls. Now this is a subject that I've been fascinated with for a while and recently one of the podcasts that I listened to, they were talking about this and I was like, well, why don't I make a video about it? Now, if you don't know what phantom phone calls are, we're going to dive into it in just a second. But before we do that, go ahead, hit that like button if you're new make sure you subscribe we talk about some really creepy things on this channel and i go to some pretty haunted locations to investigate so you're not going to want to miss those videos also youtube kind of sucks at notifying people that videos are coming out so um if you haven't already hit the little bell to be notified when my videos come out and if you want like a like a fail safe way to know that my videos are out follow me on twitter and on instagram because i always post my videos on Twitter and Instagram. So the links will be down below if you want to follow me on other social media. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump into this. What is a phantom phone call? A phantom phone call is when somebody living receives a phone call from somebody that is dead or has passed away. Now you'd think that phantom phone calls are rare, but they're actually not. It happens very frequently. A majority of these phone calls come through within the first 24 hours of somebody's passing, but there are other events that happen years after somebody has passed away. Some really quick examples of these phantom phone calls are mothers that call their children to say I love you one last time, or a joking grandpa that prank calls their grandkids over and over again. Now there's the question, is it possible for a spirit or a ghost to actually manipulate a phone to call from the other side. Personally, I think it's very possible. I mean, look at ghost hunting equipment. We bring all different types of electronic equipment with us when we go ghost hunting. We bring a spirit box or an EMF detector, and we use these in hopes that the ghost will use their energy to manipulate that electronic device. So if they can manipulate that electronic device to talk to us, why wouldn't they be able to manipulate a cell phone or a landline? Normally when these calls come through, they're very staticky. It's hard to hear the person on the other line, but people that have received these phone calls say that the voice of their loved one is unmistakable. Even though the voice may sound very far away or very raspy or like it's a whisper, they still can tell that it's their mom or grandpa or friend or cousin calling. Most people are usually in shock when they call. I mean, I can't blame them if, if I picked up the phone and it was somebody that I knew had passed away and it was their voice, I would be shocked too. And sometimes it's not just their voice that comes through. Sometimes on the caller ID, it will actually show the name of the person that has passed away too, which that, that I don't know why, but that just gave me goosebumps. Can you imagine your phone ringing and seeing the name of somebody that you know has passed away and then either the voicemail picks up and they leave a voicemail and it's their voice or you pick up and hear their voice. I mean, that is, I don't, I don't even, I don't know how people would even comprehend that or it's just so weird. So I have two examples of these phantom phone calls that I want to tell you about and then I actually found um, a video um, of a recording that was left on somebody's voicemail and we'll get to that in just a second But I want to tell you about these two instances where people were called from Loved ones that they know had passed away now the first instance of this happening that I want to tell you about comes from a user named Leroy and they wrote in and they said that they had lost their grandfather a long time ago But something weird just recently started happening recently his grandfather's name has been coming up on their caller ID. Now the first time it happened, he was at work, so he wasn't there to see it actually happen in person. But the next time that it happened, it was him and a couple other people at home when the name of his grandfather came up on the caller ID. When he answered the phone, it was just a dial tone. There was nobody there, but there, it's happened since then too, where the phone will ring, it's his grandfather's name, but nobody's on the other line. This next one comes from a user named Bonnie O, and this one, it kind of gives me chills because it, she gets a phone call from her mother, and it's almost like her mom doesn't believe that she's dead or thinks that she's joking around with her. And so it says, last Christmas evening, they went to bed and woke up to the phone ringing. And when they answered it, it was her mom's voice, and her mom said, hello there. 
She said the line had a staticky noise to it, which we said is normal. But she responded to her mother's voice and said, this can't be you. And her mom responded and said, oh, come on now. Almost like, what are you talking about? Like, this is me. Why are you joking around? And then right after that, they were cut off. So yet another strange occurrence, but the last one that I'm going to tell you about is my favorite because it has actual evidence to back it up. And you know me, I like my evidence. So in April of 2011, a YouTube channel called Paranormal Normalcy, I'll link it down below, they uploaded a video claiming that it was a voice coming through their answering machine of somebody that was passed away. They say that their grandfather passed away in December of 2010 and they received this voicemail in March. And another strange thing is that the phone only rang once before the voicemail picked up. Now I'll let you listen to it. Saved message. Saved message. Isn't that something? I mean, that that's what I love. I love when there's pieces of evidence to go along with these claims and um, that is definitely a voice saying grandpa and the way that it says it so slow and raspy and whispery, it, it just, it gives me goosebumps. So what do you guys think about these phantom phone calls? Do you think it is something that is possible? Do you think it can really happen? Um, have you experienced it yourself? I'd be very interested to know if any of you have gotten phone calls or anything like that come from people that you know have passed away. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this subject. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.